What's up, K1? We are in week five of our BLESS series, where we are looking at the first S in BLESS, which stands for serve. Now, this one is kind of a no-brainer. When, when we think of blessing someone, we tend to think about serving them in some way, like, like providing them one of your scrumptious meals, right, Pastor Jenna? I don't know about that. Or helping them out of a jam, meeting a financial need, helping them fix something. And there's no question that when we do this, Pastor Jenna, we, we are representing Jesus to people. Yeah, for sure. Jesus said that he came not to be served, but to serve. Right. But as you, Pastor Jenna, as you talked about on, on, on Sunday, serving people doesn't necessarily make them feel the love of Jesus. Right. There are ways that we can serve others that just seem like a, it's kind of just like a nice gesture, yeah. something that right. we do. Yeah. So Pastor Jenna, as you've wrestled and maybe pressed in on this concept a little bit more, can you, can you help us maybe go a little deeper on what it means to serve someone with the love of Jesus? Yeah, so as I shared on Sunday, um, I had this experience during sort of that whole COVID season. I remember COVID. Yeah, we all do. Uh, but it was, it was when I was watching humanity in general just really sort of rise up and care for one another. Um, you know, people were showing up for one another and helping out and meeting a need, making masks for one another or, you know, all sorts of different Going things. grocery shopping for a next door neighbor who may be elderly. Yeah, just overall, it seemed like people were helping one another out. And so I kind of got confused and I'm thinking, okay, God, if this is what the church is called to do, to show the world who Jesus is, how do we actually stand out from the rest of the world and their general acts of kindness. How do we look different? Right. Mm -hmm. And so this is when God really opened my eyes and helped me see that the world might love their neighbor, but Jesus loved his enemy. And that is something that the world will not do. No, well, they typically don't. No, and so that is what sets us apart. That's what makes us look different. Right. And so I started to ask myself, what does this look like in my life? What does genuine selfless serving look like in my life? And so I started to think, I really don't have a lot of people that I consider my enemy, mm -hmm. but I do have enemies of my soul. That, that's think, deep. Yeah, things like control mm -hmm. and self-protection okay. and selfishness. Go. And so I found that true Jesus serving comes when we're willing to really step out of our comforts and our preferences and to serve somebody despite the sacrifices that it would cause me. And so questions like, will I lend that thing, even though it's expensive or it's important to me, if somebody is in need? Will I choose to say no to something that I really want to do in order to be available for somebody else? Right, that's sacrifice. Yeah, will I actually sacrifice mm -hmm. so that I can serve? and? And I believe that when we do this, people really sense our genuine Jesus love. I think they do. And that's what makes us different. Mm -hmm. That's how we can bless people with the love of Christ. So what about you? Well, Pastor Jenna, I think I may want to touch on one thing that we may not tend to think about in serving or being kind to others, but which is one of my favorite things to do, to serve someone by actually seeing them and then naming what I see in them. In some ways, naming the beautiful things that we see in people is one of the ways that we can serve someone's spirit and their soul, their mind and their will and their emotions. I, I call it giving people a word of life. So for example, and I wanna give one right now, I wanna give one to Bailey Testerman who has been doing these videos for our BLESS series. So, so Bailey, I'm looking at you. All right, I want you to know how much I appreciate your time and your creative thoughts and ideas and your constructive feedback in working with, with me and Pastor Jenna and putting these videos together for this blessed series. Bailey, your efforts and your words have encouraged me and have given me a great confidence that these videos will be effective and impactful for the people of K1. Don't you agree? So Bailey, thank you for being willing to be used by God in this way. You, Bailey, you're a blessing to us. And just so that everyone knows, Bailey's smiling at me right now. Yeah, I could not agree more. Thank you so much for being willing to serve in this way. Friends, Jesus came 
not to be served, but to serve. And by doing so, he modeled for us the foundation of what it means to be a follower, pure and genuine selflessness. And so when we are willing to serve people solely for their benefit, not for what it does for us, not for how it makes us feel or how it makes us look, then we are genuinely embracing the heart of Jesus and people feel blessed by that. Yes, they, yes, they, they there's a love extended that the world simply will not offer. And so this week, your Live It Out challenge is to look for opportunities to serve the people on your list. Get creative, think intentionally, and then just do it. That's right, just do it. Enjoy your discussion time with your group and we will see you next week. Peace out.